And we'll use the last seven minutes of the stream. Oh boy, another bot. I forgot to do the blacklisting of certain things. We'll use the last uh, bit of time we have left to th take this and explore around. There's the Striders. There's the Uranite. Not Uranite, Uranianite. About another four minutes. Friend or foe? Friend or foe? Never know. Oh wait, I know what to look for. Hold on. Oh shit. Well, This is a time capsule. What about this one? Really wish I could explore this one further than I can, but I can't. Oh, that's a crashed pod. Well, at least I know how I'm gonna end this stream. Okay, we're going to wait here a second. Let's figure out what was inside this time capsule. Lantern fruit, marble melon seed, and marble melon seed. That's literally all it gave me. Ah, oh well, it was worth it slightly. Let me see something real quick. Because we have this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Will this show me titanium or no? Bitch. 
There we go, that's much better. Nope. Doesn't give me the option to look up titanium. That's fine. God damn it. So again, first things first, we need to get titanium. That's a big, 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 big thing that needs to take place. And we need a lot of it, actually. Main reason being for the fact that we've got a couple different things we need to accomplish all involving titanium. Sorry, buddy. Kind of need all these fragments. So that's okay. So, first things first, I completely overthought something that was brought to my attention. And as it turns out, We can actually make a hatch. So we have a sit place essentially. We can grow our eggs. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Somehow. Seems I still gotta do some research because I'm pretty sure that that was supposed to allow me to drop eggs in there. I have to physically drop it. Okay. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea for me dropping all those in there, but at the same time... What have I got to lose? Three to five days from now, that should give us some fish. That starts that. Next thing. Upgrades. Depth Module 1 is actually something that we need. The problem is, I actually do not remember where you can get nickel from. I normally cannot find nickel. The fact of the matter that I have nickel to begin with was literally because of, uh, uh, shit, uh, time capsule, that's what it was. So, this right here is something that also gets added in as a material that I can't find yet. Nickel ore, kyanite, crystalline sulfur, all th three of those are in the inactive lava zone and lost river portions. Same goes for what we need here. Same boat. And even more kyanite. So that essentially covers all that we're actually really able to do until we explore the Lost River. Then we've got the factor of the Cyclops, the Cyclomite. The upgrades in this case are in the exact same boat. Depth Module 1 we can make. It's a plasteel ingot. We also are going to need to do the Engine Efficiency Module. And as well as a Shield Generator. Sonar we can't really do yet either. I wish we had the sonar option. That'd be pretty nice. Nice and reassuring. We can eat up a repair tool completely. Gold is essentially a resource that we're definitely going to need a lot more of. A lot of it. Alright. We'll start off with this. We'll jump to this. Then those upgrades go here. Damn it. We got one of these for free and I didn't realize it. I just... I just wasted materials. Problem that comes in hand is we need a lot of gold. Definitely for what we're working with, we need a lot of gold. Even more gold now that I had completely wasted one of the materials. We also need silver, and all the sandstone chunks are literally pushing themselves down here. Because you know that's really what I want to do, is put myself in the biome where the warpers are at. 
for a one in three chance of gold. Yeah, you know, all these sandstone chunks are like spread out heavily. I'm much better at luck trying to find Welcome aboard, Captain. gold if I wanted to turn around aboard, and use a prawn suit. Better get out the fuck out of here. There's gold. Also, there's a sand shark that's stuck. I think it's one we may have killed. Or may have died from natural causes. The world may never know. You get the fuck out of here. That's the blood kelp trench. That's not where I want to go. Was trying to bite me. Spade fish egg discovered. Crash fish egg discovered. Wait, my fish are hatching. So I'm guessing those eggs were the small eggs then. Because I really don't think those big eggs would have uh, hatched that quickly. Cuttlefish egg. Wait, that's one of the achievements. Cuttlefish eggs. Geronimo! Get the fuck out of here. You two! Get out of here. Gel ray egg discovered. Stalker egg. Bone shark. Sand shark. Well, I may have caused myself a problem. Let's see what happens when you throw all those into the same area. Well, nothing so far. Yep, you all. Actually, what we can do also. Hello there. All right, so now he'll hang around here. Next thing on the agenda. That's a stalker egg. It's a gel ray egg. It's the ampule egg. Sand shark egg, bone shark egg. Actually, we'll drop this. I <laughs> like another gel ray. Stalker is kind of small. Be free, predator eggs. Gotcha, bitch.
cool. It kept the one that had the battery. And now... Cool. That covers that. The sonar I really wish I still had. Now we got a fun, few fun things that we got to do real quick. And this is all in preparation for the next step. And this is something known as the disassembly process. First things first, I got to get both these cameras back. All right. So that covers the first step because I had to bring both of the cameras in. Those all come out. And the cameras come with me. Last but not least, back to the Cyclops we go. And these are all the things for the scanner room, plus the drones. I still need to drop off that science project. So take this and this with me, as well as these. And this. Cyclops officially, not the Cyclops, the sea moth we can officially throw into here. These guys are still pretty much chilling in here, so that's fine. And then actually take apart this. No matter what, those thermal plants over in the distance are always constantly giving us power. And what's the supplies to make a fabricator again? Titanium gold table coral. And if we ever need any more supplies, we have the means of doing so. I feel like I'm missing anything at all. For the time being, that may be it. Prawn suit will keep up there. Until the time comes where we actually need the prawn suit. Our first location towards the pod to grab a few pieces of supplies. We've got the shield option, which drains down a lot of electricity. We're going to be trying to supply ourselves a lot of protection with the second base, specifically for where the area is located in general. Okay, so this should be quick. I don't have to worry about draining down that much power. Uh, let's drop off that and pick up one of you, just in case. There's the mushroom forest. And there's the beginning of the bulb cush zone spots. Alright, now we gotta move slower here. Now the fun part is the specific spot where I made my base was of course right underneath of a reaper leviathan. It may, in fact... Warning. We should be fine. We have just an ampule, right? If that's all it was that hit me, then we're fine. Out in the distance, there is a Reaper Leviathan. Oh, that's all I hit. I think my best bet is actually to take the base and move it, you know, just so it's not right beside the home location of the Reaper Leviathan. So this spot actually right here almost works. It would be more... There's just a bunch of small fish that I'm hitting, that's all. I know what that is. That's a new fish, a mesmer.